Hey everybody, how you doing on HexDSL? Hello there! Uh, yeah, today I'm going to tell you the story of Doom Eternal. So, the problem was, I played Doom Eternal on Stadia, it was great, I really enjoyed it, and then it, Steam style happened, it was cheap on Steam, and Steam has never a V-slider, so I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it on Steam. So I did that, and I played about six hours in, and then, boom, problem struck. So the problem was, there's this bit where you have to push a box, and it falls down and lifts the floor panels up, and you jump in the hole, and you spring up, and you punch a statue in the face, What's supposed to happen is the statue falls down, breaks the door open, you run across the door and kill more stuff. What was happening for me was I'd pull the thing, the thing had, thin, thing had opened, I'd fall down, I'd bounce, I'd punch the statue, and my system froze. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was yeah, that was the story. Uh, so I did what any good Linux user does or a good gamer does, is I tried to troubleshoot it by adjusting the uh, settings of the game. I tried every different variation of settings I could in the game to fix it. Nothing worked at all. Not one thing worked at all. So, next thing I did was start working through the problem. So, first of all, every variation, again, tried everything I could think of that could cause a game, mostly running the game on absolute minimum settings, like without any, anything turned on the absolute minimum settings. Tried turning off the Steam overlay, tried turning off my compositor. Um, I tried a different desktop environment, tried it with and without tightening. I tried every variation I could, windowed, full screen, all the usual stuff. Um, then it was mentioned to me that my BIOS drive, my, my graphics card BIOS may be out of date because I've got a 5600 XT, an AMD card, and they was known for having weird BIOSes at launch. So I took, the, I took my machine apart, I took out my graphics card, and I put my graphics card in my daughter's machine. She thought she was getting an upgrade, that was never going to happen. Um, and then uh, and then I updated the BIOS on there because you can do it in Linux, but it was way more hassle. Like, I, I looked at what I had to do to get the EFI update and working. And I was like, it'd be quicker to just stick it in a Windows machine and try that. Did all that. By the way, BIOS update was worthwhile. My card got more performance now, which is great. Uh, tried everything I could think of, as I said. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm at the end of my turn there. Let me ask the internet. So I did some asking around some friends. No one had any ideas. Um, a few people suggested... Uh, suggested I tried uh, that. Well, what was this? Suggested? They suggested I tried the game um, with different versions of, of Mesa. I went onto Glorious Egg Rolls uh, Discord channel where I asked a few people there. And by the way, the people on Glorious Egg Rolls Discord channel, they are super smart people. Um, Glorious Egg Roll is smart himself. He's attracting an, a group of really smart people that are really helpful, which is nice. Um, so it was suggested there. The, the boss upgrade was actually suggested there. Um, then I looked at my mother. I made sure I actually had my, my microcode running properly. I made sure there was no BIOS updates to my actual motherboard that was going to be relevant to this, just in case it was that. Um, I then tried the. I tried installing Mesa-Git. Turns out that doesn't currently compile on Arch. So then I had to use a third-party repo called Chaotic, uh, Chaotic AUR, which then adds a bunch of pre-compiled stuff. So I tried that. Also didn't work. Tried different versions of LLVM. Tried different versions of uh, Lib32 Mesa. Basically, I spent days doing everything you can as a good geek to make this game work. In the end, I was at the end of my tether. I'd had enough of this, right? I just pissed off. I was ready to reinstall, right? The only, like That's why I was actually like, I'll reinstall my system. Maybe that'll do it, right? Maybe that'll do it. Maybe. Um, and my other plan was uh, suggested to me this morning, actually, was to log on to Steve, my daughter's machine, get past that bit, make a save game, and just go back to it on my, on my Linux PC, which is my next bit. But I really wanted to fix the problem, not work around the problem, which is a thing I tried. I tried the ACO compiler on and off. I tried the launch things to skip the, to skip the intro and that in case that was doing it. Um, I tried, uh, I, obviously, I worked on the Linux forum. I went to the link, all the Linux forums, all the Bethesda forums, the Steam forums, all of, anything you can do, I tried. I tried with and without swap partition in case it was doing that. Um, yeah, I, I tried all the things, and yeah, there was no, there wasn't even errors being generated. It was just stopping, essentially. Uh, and then I, after, I just got to the end of my tether, and I, I purged my system. Any package with the word Vulcan in, and anything associated to it, got ripped off my machine. I also did try reinstalling the game. And I put all the Vulcan packages back on, restarted my machine, and it worked. It makes no sense that would do it. It makes no sense that would do it. After speaking on the Glorious Egg Roll Discord, um, it seems like the common consensus there is that maybe things wasn't updating. Maybe, like, for whatever reason, that package wasn't updating, and I had an older version than I thought. So when I purged it and reinstalled it, I was getting the new version. That is the only thing that makes sense. Since checking that that works and having the whole, yeah, the whole Judge Nelson in, in on the field sort of moment with the, the punch in the sky because Marty Ringwald loves me. No, after all that stuff, after all that stuff, I, uh, I, try, I roll back all the changes I've made. 
Um, I went back to using the ASO compiler. I went back to the regular Arch Repo version of Mesa, tried the same save game and worked still. So whatever it was, was simply solved by purging and reinstalling my, all my Vulkan related packages, which makes no sense. And the reason I'm telling you all this is a couple of things. The first reason I'm telling you this is because no one knows it all. No one knows how to fix every problem in Linux. No one will be able to fix your problem. Either I know what I'm doing. I know my around Linux computer. Right? I'm, not, I'm not a genius, but I know my around Linux computer, especially my own, right? Um, this took me days. This literally took me two days of, try, of tinkering with stuff to fix this, right? Actually, it was two days, but spread over like over like a week, you know, a couple of hours a day. It was probably like two solid days I worked on this. Um, and I pulled hardware to sort this out. I was looking at BIOS updates to sort this out. Um, no one's going to be able to have your solution. You need to work through the problem yourself and you need to, while it's always good to ask for advice and take advice, like just because people can't give you the answer, it doesn't mean you can't solve this problem. You can de work at this problem, do the science on the problem, and eventually, I have no doubt, if it can be fixed, you will fix it. If there is a problem you've got that you know and you're having, it's something with your computer and your setup. I actually was at the point where I was starting to think, it was. I was like, I was like is my graphics card faulty? Do I literally have faulty hardware here? Whatever reason, apparently, no. Apparently, just reinstalling Vulkan, everything everything mentioned on the Vulkan page on the on the ArchWiki just got purged and reinstalled across the board. Uh, and that just, like I said, just did it. So yeah, don't forget, do that science. And secondly, I know this myself because I've done this the last couple of days. When you ask for help, um, be willing to do work to support the help you're getting. Be, if someone says, if someone literally suggests putting a graphics card, if you can, you know, do it like 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 do all the things like when someone asks you for help be willing to take the help be willing to do the work there if they say have you tried this and tell you a package you don't what you don't know don't go i don't know what that is go let me go read up on that you know go do the work to support the people trying to support you and that's something that i mean i feel like i've always been pretty good at doing that like like ask a question then interpreting the answer so if it's if it's one word one line answers i feel like i've been okay to to go and learn what they're talking about and fill myself in but when someone mentions stuff you don't know don't just go well i don't know what does that mean just go i'm gonna go and read up on that i'm gonna go and read that i'm gonna go and do the homework right technical support in my opinion the process of troubleshooting should be something you enjoy especially like like grand some people just want to play games but for me i enjoyed solving this problem as much as i enjoy playing doom like literally like i enjoyed going through it like methodically trying to figure out like trying to figure out where in the puzzle the actual problem was you know like turning it around looking at every angle and i'm really grateful that we have a community in linux we have people that are willing to help now there was some people that just said stupid shit there was people who goes well just use windows which, no there was someone that suggested why don't you play something else which is again not that useful but there was people that assumed I was an idiot and asked me if I tried doing the most basic stuff. And again, mostly because we encounter, let's be honest, we encounter a lot of idiots on the internet. It's, it's wise to assume someone's an idiot, you know, maybe like politely assume they're an idiot isn't that far off base. But in the case of like, I'd done the stuff and I was just working through it. Um, but yeah, don't be offended when you get someone who's not very helpful. Stick at it. Don't expect them to teach you things. Like if they say, go look at this, Go look at that. You know, if they give you the name of a package you don't know, go look, do the work, find out, put the effort in to deserve the help you're asking for. And that's really what this video has been about, deserving the effort, deserving what you're asking for. And I think that's really my point here. Um, because like I could quite easily have just been like, mm, YOLO, whatever, you know, I don't know, help me. Or just given up. Or I solved this problem by puzzling through it. And what the end the result, the end result is the thing I did to fix it was stupid. Like it shouldn't have worked, to be honest. It should it's just the, the only reason it worked is somewhere along the lines it seems like I may have like stopped that package has stopped today for whatever reason or there's or it's bugged or whatever. But my fix in the end that fixed it should not have worked, right? Uh the other one, the best one, the best one I had that's fixed all this. Someone was like, You're overheating. Like, no, because I load the game and then one minute later it crashes because I'm just that's how long it takes me to get to the point like, well. Wow, probably have probably overheating but i'm not overheating <laughs> was, that was quite the conversation i had but uh yeah the uh it, it, it's it's just really like be humble don't, don't even be humble with your support if you're asking people for help it's so important to just take you know to do the work and i, I just can't stress that enough don't don't and if you post your support person don't go this broken hair fix that's not it when i posted i posted on reddit about this and i posted with like a whole like here's my system spec here's the problem i'm having here's exactly i'm trying to be pleasant and kind of polite as well when i'm doing it and, like you know 
trying to get a little joke in there occasionally. But like, here's my problem. Here's what I'm doing to fix it. Here's the different versions of Proton I've tried. You know, I just give them a general outline to try and, and if you give them a general outline of your problem that they can work with to try and help you, they're less likely to assume you're an idiot. You know, because you've you've given them the tools to help you, and I think that's important as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I just thought I'd share this little insight into my troubleshooting. I nearly never got a video out today because I was fucking with Doom. Um, I'm probably just going to go back and play Doom Eternal right now. By the way, Doom Eternal, so good, so good. I've literally bought it twice. I like it so much. It might come to the Switch. I might even buy a game play on Switch. That'd be stupid, but I might do it anyway. Thank you for watching. If you want to help me, you can do so over on patreon.com slash hexdsl. And if you haven't already, jump in the Discord because we hang out and chat. And, you know, if you have a technical support problem, maybe someone there can help you. Not very likely, but, you know, maybe they can. Maybe you're smarter than me and don't need support. Maybe you can come and help me. Join and help me. <laughs> Bye, guys.